Okay. Let's get Kui Kui going. Let's do it. But yeah, that was that was half decent gains, half decent profits. We're, we're, it looks like we're down on gold, but whenever we sell that thing, we'll be back up. That'll be good. So we swapped over. The big thing that we did with Kui Kui is we swapped over to uh, remaining energy as opposed to uh, Surge. And that's actually been feeling pretty good, but I need to go back to my Chaos Dungeon build to unleash my full power. But this, this gets the job done just fine. That's another build we have with a little bit more AoE, and it honestly flows pretty nicely, too. But I feel like she's coming along. She'll be a nice... A nice T3 Deathblade soon enough. Getting there. Soon enough. Yeah, the investment is usually worth it, yeah. I can see that. I like Striker. I've played it. My Striker, he's not real high level, but I mean, I've got him. I got him going. Let me see. So I think we can do this, and then we can do this. Dark Axle level up instead of the other level up. I think that feels a little bit better to me. Yeah, because I made like I made a lot of my attacks like do like uh, frost damage for my for this build, and it's kind of fun. Kind of like have like a lot of control over the battlefield with the frosty damage. Still kind of getting owned, but yeah, Deathblade. Like with some of the adjustments I made to the build and with remaining energy, I feel like it feels like that much more smooth and good. It's pretty cool. Real neat. Cause I, I like the class already, but like, yeah, it just keeps getting better, which is what happens in a lot of situations playing this game. You start off somewhere, and then things just kind of keep getting better. Which is great. Where's this big guy? Oh my god, did I miss? I did. Yikes. He was going for a stack right at that same time. I think we got the damage, though. We got the damn. But I am favoring like a lot of AoE with this build rather than like super single target damage, so I gotta watch out for the situations like that. Okay, here we go. He's just frozen over there, just bop him. Uh-oh. Wait, what the heck? Oh no, I'm sorry Lance, that's scary. Dude, I don't know man, like... Like I want to, I want to like Striker, but I'm still very interested in, in Scrapper. I think Scrapper was like kind of what I was leaning towards in terms of the martial artist. I took a chance on Striker, but I think Striker is cool. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Hey, bro, you a Makoko C? Cause you go up a gentle, pleasant world. Oh. <laughs> sure would like to add you to my collection if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Some Lost Ark pickup lines there. Good luck with that. Now, uh, Striker is cool. But, I'm still interested in Scrapper. The cool thing is, we have a lot of room to make a lot of alts. So, if I want, I mean, like, I I'm pushing a lot of my roster to tier 2. And it might be kind of nice to make sure I have some tier 1 alts still for farmers and stuff. And so, Scrapper could become one of the anchors of my uh, second roster, my B team. Or it could take the spot of, of the artillerist on the A team really easily, I think. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that today. I think the knowledge transfer, it can only do one at a time, but I knowledge transferred Bajathor. I don't know. Maybe I'll knowledge transfer a scrapper instead of. Because uh, I don't even know if I can actually boost anybody else through Romandel right now. I think I have to maybe do the quest line again in order to do it. Slashed. Yeah, Deathblade feels so smooth with remaining energy. I actually really like it. I actually really like it. 
I played Scrapper and I didn't like it, but I like Melee, so I might do War Dancer. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I, I think maybe Scrapper's a little bit polarizing, huh? I don't know. Interesting. It just seems really awesome to me, like the heavy stagger and like maybe like a little bit slower attacks, but like heavier punches, you know? I like that idea. Seems really cool to me. The Dark Axle attacking a little bit faster, I think is probably worth. Although I could use the thing that puts a debuff on him with the uh, spinning slash or whatever, but Dark Axle feels really weird when it's so slow after I've been playing like at level 10 on my other build. So having it be just a little bit better attack speed is probably worth. But yeah, once you start getting in rhythm with the Death Blade, it feels really nice. Not like a master of the class or anything, but just at a basic level, it just starts to feel real smooth. With this kind of like high momentum build, I would say. Scrapper needs its class engravings take off. Like it needs it to be like a high level. I feel like class engravings are pretty important for everybody from what I've like learned just by playing. Like you can play a class for sure with no class engravings, but it definitely feels a lot better to have the, the engravings. Deathblade for sure. Having Surge or uh, remaining energy is good. And I played Surge at first, and it's not, not like I didn't like it. It's just I, I got really annoyed that I was like missing my my Surge, like not just like whiffing it, but like like having it be you know you need to use it now, but it's not a good time, you know. With this one, you just pop, pop, and then you just go nuts for 30 seconds. Nuts with the Demuge, which I like. So it works. A little bit more of my playstyle thing with like the consistent damage rather than like pulled up and you know whatever burst right you gotta really gotta wait for your attacks you can't just do it like you know you can't time it on your on your time it's kind of like this has to line up properly and the boss has to be doing the right thing and everything like that it's it's high payoff but like i said it's a little bit annoying if you miss it still hitting for a million there that was my awakening, though. All right. Where can I see a Deathblade build? Uh, I haven't made a, a guide video for the Deathblade yet, but I did go over it a lot yesterday. I can show it to you. I think maybe even highlight that session of like theory crafting it out and stuff, but I can show it to you. Real quick, make a highlight of this. As a matter of fact, why not? Take this very opportunity. A little weekly update. Let me show you. Just keep, bear in mind that I'm not like a Deathblade expert, but this is a build that I, I do think feels pretty fun. It's like, like I said, it's like high momentum, like high APM. Like you get to, you don't really run out of abilities, and the abilities that I get to use are fun. And they and they have a lot of them have like mobility built into them, so it just feels really fast paced and smooth. Definitely probably more of a chaos dungeon build though, because it's it's probably lacking in single target damage a little bit. But generally, you only really need like one shot, like one of the uh, champion mobs or whatever, and everything else is pretty easy to kill. It's mostly about attacking quickly and killing stuff quickly, and generating some noise, some noise meter. But my my engravings are like nothing on this character. I, I don't really have anything good. It's just like all I've got is just you know the remaining energy to get the build going, and then that's it. Because you're your class engravings are pretty much like your specialization, right? It's like you're, it's like if you're choosing, like you're playing warrior, but are you playing like inferior arms, right? Kind of, or it, maybe not, maybe not quite that big of a deal. But it's just like kind of changes the class a fair amount depending on which class engraving you decide to play. No, I want to play scrap. That's what I was talking about. Okay, I'll give you a quick rundown. Okay, so these are the abilities that I like. It ends up feeling really smooth and fast. So I, have, I have Spin Cutter, but I don't really have any points in it. I probably could do like Attack Speed on it, but I ended up putting Attack Speed on Dark Axle. I have a Bleed on Spin Cutter, because it is kind of a nice AoE. For Dark Axle, I have a Quick Recharge, but I, I, don't, I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't have any Rage ones available. Rage would be pretty cool, too. Um, but Quick Recharge is fine. And I'm just using like the faster Attack Speed. Um, I have good old Soul Absorber. I have that charging up quickly. I thought about the AoE, but the, the quick charge is better. The, you don't really need extra AoE. Um, I think a lot of builds use the dark one, which is good, but I, I like the cold one. The cold's kind of cool. It just, like, 
freeze everybody, but it might be better to just do more damage. But I think in Chaos Dungeons, having some freeze for the control is actually pretty nice. And I have it with Gale Wind, so you can play with any of these, really. Um, same thing with, with Death Sentence. I have uh, the Cold Zone on this one. By the way, I have like a double slash there, too. So you can actually like freeze a lot of people. I have a low cooldown on Death Sentence because it's pretty nice. Movement speed or like a bigger leap would be fun, too. Same thing with the cold. This one's good. This one's also pretty good for like more damage. This one's good against the like staggered foes, but I don't. You don't really stagger anything in Chaos Dungeon, so not really worth. And then this one I just have a bigger AOE, which is cool. I kind of want to check this one out though, at some point. But yeah, then we have Moonlight Sonic instead of the long charge. I have it with Darkness. I have which is the good for damage. That's what I do for raid. I have it doing cold damage with a quick uh, cooldown. But it's not held down for as long, so it, go, it like does its whole thing more quickly. But usually everything is dead at that point. And then I have it just attacking faster and doing more damage with Gale Wind on that one too. Rage on that. Uh, then we have Turning Slash, which I think is pretty sick. Um, so I have it doing more damage, which is fine. More mobility is fine too, but more damage is good. It doesn't do that much damage on its own. So Then it attacks three times, which is cool, with this ability. So you can like slash a couple times. And then do the triple spin attack, which is pretty neat. Push immunity, weak point is also cool, but this just seems the best. And then we have charge, the blitz rush, but it's actually just, you just I just make it a button press. So it's just normal mode instead of charge mode. Have it critting more. The same thing, the wide angle is okay, but I don't think it's necessary. Uh, but yeah, that just makes it just like a button press. Just phew. And if you wanted to play Deathblade without all these charge abilities, you have that option. A lot of these you can make into normal attacks. Ben, thanks for the Prime Man. Big flex for you. This game is sick, yeah. You could just do normal charge or on this one instead. You can do this. Um, and then you have uh, Void Strike, which is another one of those charge abilities. We have attack speed. You have, like, the zone at the end. And then you have uh, a big explosion, which is cool, too. So that's what I've got cooking with this. Um, Gale Wind, Rage, Gale Wind, Gale Wind. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's a, just a quick rundown. Uh, the raid build does a lot of things similarly. Now we can do this. This would be nice. This will be nice. Let's do this. The raid build just uses the Earth Cleaver, but it uses Moonlight Sonic, but I hold it down for longer and use the Darkness one for more single target. Um, same thing with this. I, I just like this attack a lot, so I keep using it. Um, same thing with this, I think. It's the same. Void Strike is the same. Except I use darkness instead of whatever else. Use the explosion. Um, oh yeah, dark. Uh, let's go back to the beginning. A spin cutter is still level one. <laughs> um, for raid, dark axle. This one's cool. Attack speed, tenacity, and you jump way over everybody. You could do this one too. You can make it even a, a bigger jump. But as long as you jump high, you can jump over guardians and bosses. The tenacity means that you're not going to get knocked out of your jump if the boss has a mechanic mid jump. Which is kind of nice. Um, this one, pretty much the same thing. So if I use darkness and this. Um, here's the Earth Cleaver. Just put this on there. Just to make it like do a little bit of a dash for more damage. Moonlight Sonic, you charge it all the way up. Turning Slash, do that. Yeah, same thing. Same ideas. Except I'm, I am using like, you know, using the damage component instead of the slow component. That, that's the Deathblade build that I've got going on right now. Um, my gems are whack. Um... My engravings are pretty much just um, remaining energy and then whatever else I can find. <laughs> um, I think like the backstab ones are probably good for her. Um, gems are just whatever I can find. And cards are pretty much just this one, just taking less elemental damage from the uh, Trixion set. I do have the way it was though. What's this one? The full, I get the full the way it was, but that's not really worth Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now on Badge Queequee. Kind of a fun build, probably not optimal, but that's what I've that's what I've got going, and uh, so far so good.